<clears throat> okay, yesterday we had said the Mishnah had, had said that uh, if the Shriv Meira leaves over Karka Kol Shehu, if he leaves over Karka Kol Shehu, then then it's a good matana. Because we say that what? That if he's leaving over something, we're oimed that he thinks he's going to get better. Okay. Rav said, I just want to say, uh, we said that Labdafka Karka, he said even, he said Labdafka Kol Shehu, it has to be what Kadei Panasasa. In other words, it has to be that you can go ahead and leave himself something to live on. If Yemi Abarabba said Labdafka Karka, but metaltalin provided he has what to live on. So as long as he's leaving himself something to live on, obviously he thought he's not going to die. Therefore, the matana is a good matana. The rest of his property comes along. Rabbi Yosef it says the Mishnah didn't say metaltalin. It said karka. The Mishnah did not say kedei panasasa. It said kol shehu. Right? Abai then questioned and said, "What do you, you mean? Every time you use the lotion of karka, it means dafka karka. We see that by um, by an evet." If you go ahead and he leaves over, he sells all his property, gives all his property away to his Eved, with the exception of Metaltalin, that the Eved is, is not free. You see that that Karka can be referred, metal, can be referred to as Metaltalin, right? That's what Abaya told Rabbi Yosef. So Rabbi Yosef counted back. That's, they learned the Agav, the Reisha, they learned that Lushen. Today, the Gemara is going to start about the second point, the point of Kol Shehu, right? When you say Kol Shehu, does it mean Dafka Kol Shehu or not? Does it mean dafka kol or not? For that, the Gemara brings us to a Mishnah in Chulin, the sugi of Reishas Agez. One of the matnas kahuna is Reishas Agez. So we have machloek exactly how much wool has to be chayv Reishas Agez. According to Reb Yosi, uh, according to Reb um, Daisa Bar Hakinos, it's a manu pras from five. So it's a motor pass times five. Each one, each animal has to give you a motor pass. Oscar said about 25.5 ounces of wool from each one. The Chacham said kol shahu. And then it said, how much is kol shahu? It says a motor pass from all five. Provided all five gives you a little bit of the wool. So it's a, pras, a motor pass in some total, not motor pass from each and every one, but in some total, a motor pass. So you see, when it said kol shahu, it did not mean kol shahu. And therefore, we're going to give the same tarets, <coughs> says the Gemara. We're up to Kuf Nun Amid. Kuf Nun Amid Aleph, parallel to the Taisvis, the ID, the second Taisvis from the bottom, parallel to that, two lines down. <coughs> Anytime you tell me Kalshu, I mean, there's no share, right? That you, that you, Rabbi Yosef, are saying that, right, it's Tafka Kalshu, but Tanan, Rabbi Yosef, and Akinus, I'm Elin, you're Rashi's, I guess. Hamesh, Rechele, is Gaisa, is Lais. Mono, Mono, Pas. Each and every one of them is chayim reishes I guess. The chacham moimim chamesh bechelois guys is ice kol shehein kol shehein. Now kol shehein is mashma even a little bit. Barmina and v'kama kol shehein on marav manu pras from all of them. Who bevad sheyu michumashlois provided that each one of the five animals provides some of the wool. The bottom line is you see kol shehein kamin kamin something kamin an amount. So what's your taina Reb Yosef according on Reb Yosef Rechani on on Rava? Who said Kadei Panasasa? You see, Kol Shein is Labdafka from Rishas I guess. On that, Rabbi Yosef answers Abaya, Hasam Bedin Hu Deloy Listening Kol Shu. You really should not learn that Kol Shu. You shouldn't say Kol Shu. But I need to come at Tanakama Shiura Raba. The Tanakama said a large amount. Again, a Monu Pras times five. Ame Ihu Nami Shiura Zutra and Karile Kol Shu. So in other words. It's for symmetry. He's, he's going to sing. You say a big amount, I say kol shu. But that lot of that kol shu means what? Kol shu who? In, in contrast to your large amount, I'm giving you a kol shu who. But really, dafka is a sheer. Masha'en came where you say karaka kol shu who, and you're not contrasting it to anything else. Kol shu who means kol shu who. That's the same territory you gave above. When you said vis a vis a right? The metaltalin, the, the, the karaka vis, you shouldn't learn karaka at all. Vis a vis the other part of the Mishnah, so we learn Karka. So over here, vis a vis the other part of the Mishnah, the Shita of Rab Daisa, who said, uh, Ben Akinus, they said the Shita of this large amount, Manu Pras times five, it's a Kol Shehu. But Enachinami, you shouldn't have said Kol Shehu, you just said it to contrast the first opinion. Masha'enkin, when you just say Karka Kol Shehu, and you're not contrasting anything, Kol Shehu is Dafka Kol Shehu, and not Kadei Panasasoy, like Rav, that's Rabbi Yosef Shita.
Okay, but the rest of them are very nice Gemara. Okay. Now, Pshita, it's Pashit. Omar, if a person says, if a person says, Metatli Leplanya, he says, My Metatli should go to so and so. So now we're, we're, the rest of the daf is going to be defining different shyness, fellas. So you say metatlin. Metatlin usually means something that is movable. Metatlin the planya, right? Kol mani tashmisha yikana. You acquire all the kalim of tashmish. Levar michiti b'shari, except wheat and 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 wheat and barley. Wheat and barley, you wouldn't, even though they're metatlin, you, you don't you don't need mean that. You don't need the food stuff. And Rashbam throws in also you don't need behemis. Nearly the behemis behemis would not be included. And when a person says that my metatlin should be the so and so, he does not include chita sorry, according to Rashbam Behemis as well. What about if he says, he adds the word kol, kol metatli lapanya? Instead of saying metatli, he says kol metatli lapanya. Then a filu chita sorry. In that case, it would even mean what? Wheat and barley would all be included because the kol comes and includes that. We met earlier in the Masechda, there was two parts to a a, a, a grinder, the top part and the bottom part. The top part was movable. The bottom part also was movable, but basically it stayed it stayed stationary. So included in cold metallic would even be the upper part of the mill. But the bottom part, which usually is not moved, would not be included in the Lushan Kol Metatli. Now, if he says if, if he, if he, 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 he says Kol Metatli over here, kol metaltali. What's the lashin? The lashin the bach. Okay, here he says like, look, the the bach has a lashin in base. If you look at the base in the bach, kol metaltali leplanya, and then he says kol metaltali the metaltal. He has one more. In other words, if you look at Agamara, apparently it's it's when it's, it says kol metaltali. And then this is called the metaltel. So call anything the difference between metaltel metaltaloi, but according to the Bach, it's an extra word metaltel. In other words, it's more inclusive. So that would include Afilo Rechaim That would include even the bottom part of the mill. Kana. Um but Avi, we're up to Kufnun Ahmed Aleph. When the lines get wide, the second line, the last word on the line. Okay. Is an ever like karko or an ever like metalton dummy? So right away, when I saw this, I thought of Masech the Baba Kama, where we went through the sugya. And we know that in Masech the Kedushin, we saw that what? That an Eved Kanani is Nikna Bikeshev Shtaru Chazaka. Because an Eved is what? Is compared to karka. It's not Chaltam Vasom Lubnechem Achrechem, Kareshet Achuzad. So an Eved is karka. So that's what's the sugi over here is saying an evidence is kimikarko or not. So it says the Rashbam. The Rashbam says, dummy, where lines get wide, about 10 lines down. Dummy, shvua, that you don't swear on an evid. The Kenyan and the way you acquire him is because of Chazaka, like Mustafli. That's not the Shiloh. The Chomili de Raisa didn't make a karko yeshlehem. Any din deraisa from the pasuk of misachaltem tells us that an evid is like karka. Avalinian loshem bnei regarding the way we refer to people, loshem bnei adam mikri lehu metatli. People call him metatli. The yeshna bechal matanas metatli. She metatli he will lie. In other words, we want to know when people say something and they they're giving a gift, is an evid included in the gift? Halachically, an evid is kikarka. But when a person says called metatlin, is his mind on the evid or not? Because if you look at it in evid, it's metatlin. If you look at the bottom toysvis, avdukim karki dami oikim metatli dami, linyan mili derabonan, mi boyle. Same, same as the Rashbam. Regarding mili derabonan is the shayla. Avul milsa deraisa, pshita deiskish le karkois. When it comes to dini deraisa, kinyon and shruis, then they're like karka. The pishis le el perakamecha sabayas al hach milsa. So therefore, the gemar shayla guys is, is Evid Kimikarke or Metatli is Indian Lashin Bene Yodam. When a person gives them Atana, is it included in the sale or not included in the sale? We're not questioning his status and halacha, how we consider it. Okay, that's the, that's a good Hezbo to the Marshailah over here. So, isn't so Amalek. 
So Rav Acha braid the Rav Avila Ravashi said Rav Acha braid the Rav Avila Ravashi Toshma Hamoicher Esaer. So this guy is, is selling a city, right? Miralago. He's got a, he's got a whole city to sell. He's selling, he's selling a city. Macha bought them, included in the sale is houses, shichin umarois, different types of what of water cisterns, umarchetsiyos bath houses, ubeis abadim and olive presses, beis hashlochin fields that are irrigated. Avaloyas and metalplin, right? But they're not not, not metalplin. They're not, not metalplin is not included in the sale because it's not part of the city. Ubezman shoamar he v'chol mashem b'seicha. And when you say I'm selling you the city and everything inside the city, afilu even though how you bought behema, even there are behemas oyavodim harikula and mechuran. They're all part of the sale. So again, if you sell the city, stam avodim are not part of the sale. If you say the city and everything inside of it, they're part of the sale. If you're going to tell me when it comes to a person's lotion that the ever is metalkal and therefore they're not part of the sale when you say the city, when he said, I'm selling you the city, they're not included because they're not connected to the ground. If you're going to tell me they're like karka, then why aren't they sold? So you want to be push it, guys. So you want to be push it that what they're metalzlin, right? Again, I'm selling you the city; they're not part of the sale. I'm selling you the city and everything in the city; they're part of the sale. Says the Gemara, included in that is a filu abadim. Vela mai kimetalzli dame, mai a filu. Guys, look at me. Listen, listen to what he's saying. I'm selling you a city; abadim are not part of the sale. I'm selling you the city and everything in it. Even Avadim are part of the sale. Bishlam, if you're going to tell me they're outright metalkalin, then I understand. Why would you have to say Afilu? Afilu means there's a reason to think they're not part of the sale. If they were outright metalkalin, of course they're part of the sale. They're part of the city. So you sell a you sell anything that's movable in the city is part of the city. When you say Afilu, it must mean you would think they're not part of the city. Why would you think they're not part of the city? Is because they're karka. Now, if they're karka fellas, why then why were they part of the sale with the city initially? In other words, you're telling me the initially here, initially here. From the race, you're telling me that what well, they're metaphalin, but from the safety, you're telling me they're karka. That I feel who makes them a karka. Ella, what do you have to say? It's different karka than I do. In Karka the Loy Naidi. So I feel in Metalton Naidi. In other words, you have no raya from here that they are outright Metalton or outright Karka because we're going to make a difference between Karka that's movable and Metalton and Metalton and right and Metalton. So therefore, it says the Gemara, you want to say that they're Metalton because they included I feel If that's the case, Ella, why are you saying I feel? Says the Gemara. Elamai, Kimitafli dummy, Maya Filu, Elamai is Cholamemar, shiny metalthal the Naidi and metalthal the Loy Naidi. There's a difference between metalthal that moves and metalthal that doesn't move. I feel the same, Kimikarka dummy. You could even say that what? They're like Karka. In other words, an Ebed is capable of moving. Metalthal has to move. You need a, a force to move it. An Ebed is metalthal that moves by itself. So you might think that what? When you say Kol Masha Besaycha, an Evet's not part of it because an Evet is Lavdafka part of the city because he can go in and out of the city. Afilu Haki is part of the sale. Afilu, since he can move out of the city by his own means because he has a life force in him. So you might think that what he's not part of the sale. Afilu Haki, that what he's part of the sale. If that's the case, you could say an Evet's Kimikarka. I so why wasn't he included in the initial, the initial sale? Because shiny Karka didn't me Karka the line ID. So therefore, I feel the same with dummy, and you know why he's not part of the original sale. Shiny Mikarka the ninety, Mikarka the ninety. The bottom line is from this right, a Mishnah, right? You can't go ahead and bring a raya whether he's Kimikarka or Kimataflin. Again, in a Shiloh, when a person says an Evet is uh, is he part of Kimataflin, the Indian is sale or Matana is he part or not? We haven't been paishit yet. Only Ravino Ravashi Toshma. Let's try to be paishit the Shiloh. Hakoisiv. He writes over his, his, his we just had this on the Omid Al. 
He writes over Nechassan to his Eved. He's writing over everything on the Amid basics yesterday. Yatsib Nechayrin, he goes free. Why? Because he's part of the Nechassan. Shaya Karka calls Shahu. If he leaves over a little bit of Karka, Lo Yatsib Ben Chayrin, because maybe it's him. Reb Shimon Alai Mil Oilam Hu Ben Chayrin, at Shiyoimer called Nechassai, Nesun Lepoini Avdi, Chutz Me Echad Me Riva Shabahen, because maybe he's part of that one ten thousand. Vom Rav Dimi by Yosef, Vom Rav Alaza, Asim Betalton Shir, Eitz Eved, Lo Yosim Betalton Shir Eitz Luksuba. If a person goes ahead and sells his Eved, he sells everything with Eved, except some Betalton, then the Eved is part of, is not part of the sale. It's not free. Why? Because maybe the Eved is Metalton. Guys, that was the riot yesterday. We wanted to show that Karka is lavd after Karka, that, that we confer to Metalton as Karka. That was a biased question to Rabbi Yosef, right? You see that why you can refer to Karka as Metalton. So we make Metalton the shirates of the Eved that maybe the Eved is part of Metalton. He's not, he doesn't go free. However, uh, uh, if a woman goes ahead and and uh, she she's Mishaya the Ksuba. We don't we don't say that that the Ksuba the Tskarka has to be a shear that she is considered collecting the Ksuba. And we don't say that what if you left over something metalton to her that she's connecting a Ksuba. For Amalai Ravalov Nachm in my time, the Kimitalihu. That's the reason why what he's shear is and it's like metalin, or metaltolo, metatolo, I'll be shear. Uksuba sisha mekarkahu. You collect from the karko, and with halal and the every share. So therefore, if you give over everything except metalvin, it's not part of the share. Ella, what do you see from here, fellas? What is, that an evid is what is 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 metalvin, correct? An evid is metalvin. Now, I told you yesterday something that really, and we, the Gemara is going to say it now, is that you have no raya. We know it says v'chosav law say for krisus by a get. It says by an Evid Kanani of a Chushul and Nitin Law. She didn't get the, the what? We didn't get her Shtar, shtar Shekh Law. Law Law, one of the more famous Xerah Shavis in Shas. Law Law Me'isha. So in Mela, we know by a get, it says, Chasav Law Sefer Krisus, it has to be nothing's left over. Over here, if you leave over the you leave over something, it felt in the Krisus. You can't, Evid doesn't go free because something was left over. So it's not because he was Kamatalpun, but the Sefer, but the get Krisus is not a get Krisus. The star shikra is not a star shikra because you left over something, but not because I have this kimatapu line. So Omar Ravashi said to Ravina, I know Mishim Deloy Kruskita must need in law. We learn because it's not Kruskita, because you don't have a full fledged Krisus. Let's see, let's see Rashbam, the first Rashbam over here. The non Mishum the love Kuris Kita must need in law. Eved Gomel Lola Meisha. An Eved, we learn out the Gazeri Shava, Lola Meisha. The Bein and get Krisus. You need a get that's Kuras. You need a get that goes ahead. And cuts it off. The kim in the yesh lebala eved schus b'shtar shekasev boy. Since the owner of the eved has a schus in the shtar that he wrote for him, sheshaya karka umatavli laatz. Why you left over something? Like hik the loish hashtar legamri. He wasn't mocked in the shtar completely, so therefore it's not a complete krisus. Shegam schus a odin kasev boy. Hilkach loy karinim be get krisus. Therefore it's not called a get krisus. Good. So that that's the that's the Rashbam that he, he left over for himself a schus. The male is not a krisus, and that's why the eved doesn't go free, but not because he's metatoli, not because he's metatoli, right? But because why? Because of the get krisus. So the we have not been poishit. The gemara was not poishit when the Indian loshem neyodam. You have no raya whether it's metatoli or it's ke mekarka. Amarav Rav Nachman, chamisha at sheyich the kol nechsehem. There are five, there are five gifts or, or Yerusha, or different transfer of property that is a difference between the lashon of kol and Yemeshaya something. This is going to be a, a good chazara, a synopsis of things we've been discussing. So there are five entities that there's a difference when you say kol and a difference when you say Yemeshaya something. Our Mishnah Shchemira, correct? Classic Shchemira. If you sell, if he gives away the whole thing, if he gets better, he he gets it back. If he gives it, leaves over Shaya Kol Shahu, then it's a complete matana. So you see a difference between the Lushan of Kol and the difference of the Lushan Mat of of, of um, being Mishaya. So we're going to have five instances. Four we're familiar with, one not. Be'elohim, Shkir Meira, Avdoi two, Ishtoi three, Bono four, Mivrachas five. Shkir Meira, Ditnan. Shkir Meira, Shekosav Kom Lechosav Lacherim. 
Shlimi, right? This this is our our Mishnah. A Shlimi right, that writes over all this chasam to another person. Vishayer karka kolshu, and he leaves over a little bit. Matnasa kayemes loy shayer karka kolshu. So here's the difference between a matana that's given with the lotion of kol or leaving over something. That's one of five. Number two, avdoi ditnan a kois of kol nechasav la avdoi yotze ben chayrin shayer kaka kol shehu lo yotze ben chayrin. So you see a difference between lotion of kol and leaving over something. Ishtoi dam rav yud dam eshmuel a kois of kol nechasav la ishtoi. Someone writes over all his properties to his wife. We don't say that what he wants to write his kids out of the will. Uh, what, do he, what does he want to do? He wants to lay us a apotropa. He wants to make a apotropis and they should be mechabit her, right? So that's if what? If you don't leave over something, right? What happens if you left over something? Left over something, we'll say she collected a ksuba from that something if it's karka, if it's karka right? Bonov, that man, hakosev kon lechasel lebonov, hakosev leishtay karka kol shehu. This is the, this is the, the, the inference from the last book. Last in of the Ksubasa, because we said that what she's Michael and she is going to collect everything in this piece of karka. So you see a difference in Kol, she's not an apotropis, Ubonov, where you write it over to the children and leave leave a little bit for her. Mivrachas. Okay, background to Mivrachas is a woman's getting married for a second time. Guys, a woman's getting married for a second time. And she wants a Mivrachas, she wants to run away from her husband, meaning she wants a prenup without him knowing about it. She wants to go ahead and hide a property. So what does she do? She gives it to a third party. Now, the third party is, does he get, does, what, is, what does she really want? She wants him to hold on to it that in case she gets divorced, right, the second time, she doesn't want the husband in her, getting it, right, or anything. Or if she dies, she wants to go into a previous family. She doesn't want to go to the new family. So she gives it to this guy. If she gives it over completely, the lotion of cull, then obviously she means to go ahead right, and 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 get it back. But if she gives him partially Shire, then he would get them, he would be Makal Matana, and she'd get the other part. So the difference between Ko and the Shir by the Mivrachas. Mivrachas has to write, I'm writing to you all the Nechasim, and then we know she doesn't mean it. Right? It doesn't mean it. Ubekuloi, and all these five cases, with one exception. Have a so in the case of Shriv Meira, if you leave over a shear, it's a good matana. In the case of an Eved, if you leave over Metalklin as we saw in the Amid Aleph, he doesn't go free. In the case of Isha, if you get, wait, if you leave over Metalklin, no, you don't collect the Ksuba. That's the one case that has to be Karka and not Metalklin. If you go ahead and leave over, we don't say I collect the Ksuba from the, from the Metalklin. We're going to say it has to be Karka. Good? So, all the chasim says so. Kol the chasim will cool and metalpli have a share. Levav miksuba that mekarki takin rabbanon and metalpli like takin rabbanon to collect the ksuba from karki and not from metalpli. Amema says no. Amema my feeling metalpli the kasev miksuba. So let's say in this in the ksuba is written metalpli and you can collect this metalpli. This new beinayu and and it's still around. Have a share. That would be a share, and it would be considered that she collected a ksuba from that, and she would be Michael the rest of the property. Again, now going into Lashonis. A person says, my possessions, possessions, the chasai, should be to so-and-so. Okay? Avda ikmin yachsai. An evet is called the chasim. And he's part of the, he's part of the, part of the gift. That nan, a kois of kol nechasav la'avdai, yatsav ben chayrin. Right? That anyone who writes over his nechasa to his evid, he goes ben chayrin. So what do you see from here, fellas? That an evid is called nechasa. Okay, he writes all the nechasa over. The evid goes free. Why? Because the evid is going because he was he, he's writing over to his evid everything, and evid is considered nechasa. Therefore, he's going free. So therefore, if a person was saying nechasa lepanya, evid will be included. Why does that person says ari ekim nechasa? Ari is also called nechasa. Land is also called possession. Is it none? Nechasim sheyesh lemachrayis, right? Nechasim that you can collect from. This that's a fancy lush for karka. Nikna bechesim shtar bechazaka mishnah kedushin. So why do you see that karka is called nechasim? So therefore, if a person gives away nechasim, not only included is eved included in the sale, karka is also included in the in the, in the, in the, in the gift. Uba glima a shirt a tunic. 
Ikri nichsai, that nan, ushain lemachrayas, ain't nicknam ella be meshicha. If it doesn't, you need, need meshicha. If it's metaltalin, so klima, lechayr is classic metaltalin. Zuzi ikri nechasai. Money is called nechasai. Now, we know Kenyan suda cannot be kind of money, right? So let's say you, you have money by somebody and you want someone to collect it. How do you do that? You want to make him the owner of the money. How do you do that? So here's the, we had this Gemara. We had this Gemara in Matmasechta in Kedushin. Okay, in Kedushin. And Daf Chavav. Okay, how do you know Zuzim are called Mechasai? Did Nan? Ushahin le machrayis, that's metaltalin, niknim im nichsas in the chesh machrayis, the keser shtarach hazaka. This is what we call kinyan agav. If you're, being, if you're acquiring the karka using keser shtarach hazaka, agav the karka, you can be koin of metaltalin. So I'm going to prove to you, you can be koin of zuzim agav the karka. So if you can be koin of zuzim agav the karka, and the lotion of the mission is, Nechosim she ein lehem achrayis niknam im nechosim she ish machrayis. We're saying nechosim ein lemach ein lemachrayis. That matavlin is called nechosim, and so therefore, if now I prove to you a case where you could be kind of zuz agav karka, we have a riot. Nechosim she ein lemachrayis, and we have riots called nechosim. So that's what we're going to have a case now. Ki hodra papa have le tracer alfe zuzay. He had twelve thousand zuz bechuzoi. He had twelve thousand zuz in bechuzoi, and now he wanted it to collect it, and he wasn't going there. So Akninu Nelay Lur of Shmuel Bar Acha, he went ahead and he was magnet to Shmuel Bar Acha. Agava Sefer de Besa, using the lintel of his house as karka. So, in other words, he was makna to Shmuel Bar Acha, the lintel of his house. And as a result of that, the money, the 12,000, came Agavmat, the, the karka. So you see, it's called Nechassan. Kiyosa Nafik, Kiyosa, when Shmuel Bar Acha came back from Kuzoi with the money, Nafik, a pair of Papa went out, at Tabach, to the place of Tabach. To go ahead and collect it. Okay, very 